Good morning traders, Monday the 17th of December 2018. New product for you here, this is the market flow system which has been uh, re-architected to have a Java interface. Spent quite a lot of time on this interface actually, so it uh, is a little bit smarter than the existing interfaces in the sense that it can collapse and reposition itself accordingly depending on what you're actually doing. And the other thing I've done as well is I've made the color and styles controls for the market flow indicator a lot more intuitive. So I can, from these four simple combo boxes here, I can control the look and feel exactly of uh, how the data is displayed on the chart. So, for example, if I want to make the flow label bigger, you can see here, let me get a tick. The market flow label increases in size in the same way I can change the time frame color if I want to, to say olive make that a little bit bigger too and you can see those changes ripple through I can control my upflow label color and size so I want to make that green 10 and then downflow label let's make that uh, let's go for a darker color so brown again size 10 stand out so let's go for black down flow label and we can do the same thing for the flat flow label and we've got our support level um, support and resistance level data which is this this data underneath here I can change obviously the size and color of that accordingly so you can see I've got complete control over how the system displays data in the same way the Support and resistance levels, um, which are defined by the fractals, in this case for the hourly chart, I can change the way they're displayed as well. So if I want to change the color of the support line, make that stand out a little bit more. Let's go for fire brick and see that change is now rippled through. I can change that to a ray if I want to, to extend it into the future. Exactly the same thing goes for the resistance line as well, which is here. So that's our colors and styles section dealt with. And if I move on to the positioning and calculation, I can move the position of the calculation data um, by the X and Y axis. So you can see here that I just sh shifted the actual market flow data on by 20 pixels. It's quite a small change. And let's go for, um, let's just ripple through. Let's move it down to 40 pixels down and straightforward. I can also change the number the calculation periods. So at the moment we're calculating over 60 periods and calculate over a longer period, say 100 periods, and now you can see more fractal being displayed. I can also change the fractal calculation basis from either three bar fractals to five bar fractal. And if I go to five bar fractals, I won't get as many fractals on the chart because you need basically a five candles to create a, a, a five bar fractal formation. Same way with the fractal positioning. I can move the fractals closer to the price action if I want to. And I'm just move both of those up and down fractals in. So you can see the fractal positioning moving. And in the same way, if I go back to colors and styles, I can change the, the fractal colors. Just change the, the up fractal to fire brick. And I can change the style if I want as well. So I can change it to different type of arrow style. And you can see when we get a tick, you'll see that it's changed to a sort of horizontal, um, sorry, a diagonal arrow. In the same way with the down fractal, do that too. Go to a horizontal down different type of style. Uh, so that's our positioning calculation dealt with. On the alert side, what I've done here is the old legacy um, market flow system did not have any alerts. So what I've done in this case, I've created a mask alert where the trader can set up. So, for example, if we wanted um, to create an alert mask, which looks exactly like we've got now, I can just configure H4 and above to down. So I'm just going to configure those quickly. And I, can, I forgot don't care states as well, which is an asterisk, but I'm going to just go to up on all the other time frames because that will match. We see on the chart and just show you what the system will do. Um, so we've got 
up all the way across there, maximum alerts, and I'll do okay. And there we go, we've just got our alert being triggered in the um, JavaFX alert history window. And you can see here it's telling us we've got uh, on the 17th of December at 13.05 server time, euro dollar period 60. And then you can see here the mask alert saying mask alert. M1 equals up, M5 equals up, M15 equals up, M30 up, etc. And then obviously all the others down. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to be selective about alerts triggered depending on the actual flows in each time frame. So for example, if you saw a situation where you've got down flows on all the higher time frames, you could argue that this is quite a good selling opportunity on the euro dollar. So we've got, you know, all the lower time frames have, have switched flow to up. And you could argue that that's going to come into an area of resistance, which is pretty much around here. And this could give you the heads up on a possible opportunity to go short, which would be in keeping with the flows on the higher time frames, i.e. keeping you on the right side of the trend. So looking, zooming out on this euro dollar chart a little bit here, you can see that on the longer term, Go to four hours, for example, we are definitely in downtrend in the same way if you go to daily, it's a downtrend. Flows are down. So you can use the system to give you an alert when you get a, a whole load of flows on the lower time frames all being aligned, or in don't care states, for example, you could just filter on the H1, and that would give you the heads up that potentially you've got a good short term short i.e. selling opportunity when price action comes into potentially areas of resistance, which I'd say would be a few pips higher than we are now. So if it were me, I'd be looking to go short around this, this level I'm drawing on the chart here. So that's the new market flow indicator. And I'm going to get the web page sorted out for that. Um, you can obviously have alert sounds and all that kind of good stuff. And you can use profiles in the same way as the other JavaFX tools, um, which we've developed. Um, one thing to bear in mind is you don't need to run this on multiple time frames. You just need to choose one time frame, and the system calculates flows across all MT4 chart periods. So it's a kind of you just need one market flow indicator loaded on each asset you want to track, and that's sufficient. So. There you go, that's the market flow indicator. I'll build the web page accordingly and I'll just send out some email marketing to draw people's attention to that. And uh, thanks very much for watching. So uh, yeah, happy Christmas.